Hello Wanderers, in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to create custom Crusader Kings 3 roleplay scenarios, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you a trick for customizing existing characters that doesn't involve editing your save file. Do note that we'll be working with the Steam version for this, and some of these options might not be available on consoles. First things first, if you want to set up custom scenario, you're going to need to have the debug menu enabled. If you're using Steam, you can easily enable the debug menu by going into your Steam library, right-clicking CK3, and adding this command to the Launch Options field here under General. Now just launch a game and debugging and console commands will be available. When setting up a custom scenario, you have two options for choosing your starting character, either picking an existing character in the game and modifying the circumstances around them, or creating an entirely new character in the Ruler Designer. Using the Ruler Designer is super easy and intuitive, gives you access to almost all the features you need in order to fully customize a new character. This includes picking your traits, adding a spouse or children, and choosing what your character looks like. While you are absolutely free to create the most GigaChad character possible by selecting all the best traits, the Ruler Designer features a handy point system if you're looking to create a balanced character, and you can even get achievements if you keep your character under the 400 points limit and aren't using console commands. Most of you watching are probably already familiar with console commands, but for those of you who are not, the process is very simple. By hitting the tilde key on your keyboard, you'll bring up this menu. The debug menu here will give you almost all the options you need for customizing your game, and while you can find a list of commands on the CK3 wiki, you can see all the different options by pressing the tab key and then using page up or page down to scroll through. This also works for each command as well, allowing you to see further variables that you can then select from. So for example, if we use the add underscore trait command and press tab, we can see a list of all the traits available in the game to choose from. This also works for traits that have been added in mods, so you'll always be able to find the codes that you are looking for. Editing your save files allows for some additional options when setting up your start, including giving your characters parents, changing the color of your titles, and even changing the names of existing characters. If you want to edit your save file, you're going to want to jot down the character IDs of any characters that you want to work with. And for title IDs, you should be able to find most of the information you need on the CK3 wiki. There are some great tutorials on editing your save games, which I will put in the description, along with some other helpful links that go more in depth into some of these tools below. If you've started with an existing character, particularly one with a well-known historical background, you're already going to start off with a family, potentially some friends or rivals, and a situation that may lead you into a story right off the bat. If you've created a new character, however, and you want to set up a scenario in which your character doesn't appear to have just magically entered the world on the game's start date, we've got some setting up to do. This is where having the debug menu enabled comes in handy once again. In this scenario, we'd like to give our character some friends, perhaps a lover, maybe a mortal enemy or two to give us someone to scheme against in the early game. All of these things are incredibly easy to do using the debug menu features. For friends or lovers, we can search up the characters we want to fill those roles using the character finder feature. Then using the debug menu, bring them into our court and make them our friend or lover. This process goes for making enemies as well, and we can potentially select a neighboring ruler to be the source of our enmity. Once we have a few characters like this set up, our character will feel more like someone whose story we are jumping into, rather than somebody who simply popped into existence a moment ago. Feel free to play around with the other debug features, there are plenty of other ways to add features to your scenario to make it exactly how you'd like it to be. Now I did say I was going to teach you a secret that not a lot of people know about for editing characters that already exist in the game, which you can do through your save file. But before we do, click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how these custom scenarios play out. And 
Now I shall share with you this secret CK3 trick. While most people are going to be familiar with the typical console command menu, you might not have seen this one before. If you open up the debug menu with the tilt key, we'll see some other options at the bottom that might look a little bit confusing. Click down here on the Explore Objects tab. That's going to bring up this menu here. By using this menu, we can edit a lot of things in the game that might not be possible otherwise. For example, if you want to change the first name of an existing character, you can click on Provider and select Living Characters. From here, if we put in the character's code, which we can find by hovering over the character's portrait, we'll see their name pop up at the top of this menu. Select that character and look up here where it says Script Runner. If we open this up and then down here where it says Effect, we can input a script that will allow us to change this character's first name in game, something which normally isn't possible in most circumstances. By typing in change underscore first underscore name, then space, then equals, another space, and type in the new name in quotation marks, we can set this script into work just by clicking the run button. Now, when we look at the character again, we'll see that we've changed their first name to our desired one. This is great if you want to add your friends into the game without editing your save file. And there are plenty of other options here that even I don't know how to use. You now have all the tools that you need in order to create your own custom scenarios in Crusader Kings 3. If you want to take a look at the save file I made for this tutorial, I will leave a link to it in the description below. I would love to see what kind of stories you guys can come up to with it. But until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.